Hi guys, in this video we will learn about how to remotely control iPhone from Windows or Mac with Iperius Remote. In this process we will learn two things. The first one is how can we screencast our mobile phone on our computer with Iperius? And the second thing is how can we screencast our computer screen on our mobile phone? But before going any further, first let's install the Iperius Remote on our mobile phone. Open the Apple Store. And once it will be opens, take a look on the right bottom, you can will see the search icon tap on it. And in the search bar, you have to write Iprius Remote. After writing, search for it. Now scroll down and find the app, and on the second number you can see the application Iprius Remote Desktop. Simply tap on it and install this application from the Apple Store. As you can see, I already installed this application. So once the installation will be done, tap on this option Open to open the Iprius Remote on your mobile phone. Now here as I said before, First, we will screencast our mobile phone screen on the computer. On the top, you can see my ID and password. Now, let's have a look on my computer screen. Here are two things, destination ID and password. I have the right my mobile phone ID and password, so write it. After writing the ID, write your password here, which is showing on mobile phone. After writing the password, simply tap on this option, connect. Now, take a look on my mobile screen. It's asking for someone to want to connect to your phone and it's the best feature on Iperius, it's for avoiding spam. Because without your permission, no one can connect it with your mobile or with computer. I have seen this, in most of apps this feature is not available, but in Iperius it's available. So if you want to allow, then tap on the first option, accept and continue. Now scroll down, and here are a few options of screen broadcast. Here you have to select Iperius remote, and now you can see my mobile screen is casting on my computer. And whatever I will do in my mobile phone, you can see it on my computer screen. But before navigating in my mobile phone, let me show you some feature which I can do in Iprius Remote. Here you can see three lines. Tap on these lines, and on the first number you can see this option Add to Address Book. If you tap on it, then you can add someone in your address book. This option is for screen adjustment. The next option is for taking a screenshot. If I tap on it, it's saying for taking screenshot. You need a pro plan subscription of Iperius Remote. Without that plan, you cannot take screenshot on your computer. And the last one is screen recording session. This is same as taking screenshot because for screen recording, you must need a pro plan subscription of Iperius Remote. And now let's navigate in mobile. And you will see the same thing in my computer. I will open YouTube in my mobile. And you will see of the open in my computer and you can see YouTube is open in both devices. Whatever you will do in your mobile phone, the same will be appears in computer. Now let's close it and open the Facebook app. Let's move to another way. How can we screencast our computer screen on our mobile phone? This process is the reverse of the first one. In first process, we wrote our mobile phone ID and password on our computer. But in this process, we will write our computer ID and password on our mobile phone. Then we can screencast our computer screen on our mobile phone with the help of Iprius. So let's start this process in mobile Iprius remote. You have to write your computer ID. And here write the password because I hide my password. That's why it's not showing. But if you did not hide it, then you can see it easily. So I'm writing my password. After writing the password, tap on the option connect. And you can see now my computer screen is casting on my mobile. And whatever I will do on my computer screen, the same thing will be appear on my mobile phone. And if I tap on the three lines, here are a few additional things which you can do on your mobile phone, like screenshot and other things. So these were the ways by which you can remotely control iPhone from Windows or Mac with Iperius Remote. And what if you are an Android phone user? Can type remotely control like iOS? If you ask, and I will say yes, if you are an Android phone user, and you can download Iprius Remote through Google Play Store. Simply open the Google Play Store and in the search bar. Search for Iprius Remote Desktop and install this application through Installation button. After the installation, tap on the option Open. From here, select an options. So just for an example, I will select the first one. Allow remote access. On the top, enable this option and tap on the option I agree. Now the next thing you have to do the same process like we did on our iOS device. Means if you want to screen your mobile on a computer screen, then write your ID and password on your computer. But if you want to screencast your computer screen on mobile phone, 
then here in the remote ID and password, you have to write the computer ID and password and tap on the option connect. So these were ways by which you can remotely control iPhone as well as Android mobile phone from Windows or Mac with Iberius Remote.